If you have not got your timing chip, you may not start this race. So please go get your timing chip. There's still a few in the tent. I'm the owner and director of the races. So basically everything that it takes to uh, get it set up and uh, function, that's on my shoulders. So this is the first full year of ownership since Joe and Joyce sold the company to us. And uh, we've had almost every event has gone up in registration, which was the trend that was going on before we started. So it's kind of been really beautiful seeing that continue on. Uh, my role now is just entertainment, I think. Used to be I owned all this. Chris runs it now. Now Joyce and I come out and mark course and uh, then we go run, have fun. So realistically what it comes down to is I think people are always hungry. Uh, they, they love the idea of kind of finding out what they're capable of. My name is Michael Stannard. What I want to do a 100 mile race. Just something about the adventure of it. Testing your own metal. This is my sixth time to try. I think a lot of people have become apathetic in life and sort of uh, maybe got bored with the daily living. And so this is their way of finding adventure and finding a place to kind of test themselves. And so I think it transpires into a lot of the rest of life and that becomes pretty enticing to keep pushing yourself. And then all of a sudden you've done a 5K and then you've done a 10K and then you've done a half marathon and uh, it goes on and on until people are trying to find out what a 100 miler feels like. And, what changes come into the rest of your life from that. When I started these races, there were about 10, 15 trail races in the state, and that was 20 years ago, and now there must be probably 50, 60 in the state. It's just crazy how it's popped and just really started to roll. I feel terrible, I've been throwing up, I haven't been able to hold any food down. I think people just need to get their ass kicked every now and then, just to teach them a little humility, teach them about, uh, I don't know, what's important, I guess, when you break yourself down and get into that part of yourself where you've stressed your body, you've stressed your emotions, you've you start asking the real questions instead of pretending all the other things that you're thinking about. So there's a big, huge Facebook group that anyone can be accepted into, and it's just the Tejas Trails group. And then there's also a website, tejastrails.com, which has all the information you could ever imagine for every single event, photos, videos. We also have Instagram page, Tejas Trails Instagram page, and we have also the um, Facebook events page, which is Tejas Trails Events. 70 year old guys run this thing. There's 10 year old kids running this thing. There's cops, doctors, there's plumbers, there's people without work, there's students. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's attitude. The kind of people we get out here is people that refuse to have other people tell them what they can and can't do. It's gonna be more like people who have decided they're gonna figure out for themselves what they can do. They tell them that you shouldn't do this, it's not smart for you, it's not healthy for you, it's hot, it's on trail, you're gonna hurt yourself. And that's when these people say, well, fuck that, I'm gonna go run that. What are you, what specifically out here are you doing today? Growing up, getting blisters. Come on, my first lap, I am the guy. And we're just tired, but we're good. Okay, there's your finish line. 
Run all the way through it. Good job, you're almost done, right there. That's the finish line.